What up, Houston? Astro fan. Been, been, uh, been interesting. Uh, of course, injury news. Jose Arquiti, Christian Javier out with Tommy John surgery. What? Um, the two guys that are healing for Tommy John surgery, Luis Castillo, uh, or Luis Garcia and uh, Lance McCullers, if you Lance care about it. I don't know. Yeah, Lance and Pitch. They're pitching. It looks like July. Lance starting. is going to get hurt practicing. I don't fucking care. I don't think Lance is coming back. I really don't. <laughs> he, I will say he looks, he looks like he can throw a ball. I mean, I would take that however you want to take it. Um, I don't know what he can offer. Uh, did any fans forget when he pitched, even though it was in the World Series getting destroyed, but I'll say this. Dana Brown was in the booth for like two innings the other day. And when one of them, they were talking about offense. The other one, they were talking about pitching. He had a million good things to say about Luis and his progression and where he thinks he's at. If he said two fucking sentences about Lance, I don't remember him. Because I remember Lance was asked about. He had nothing to say about it. I, I, I just don't think if Lance comes back, they expect anything from him. Yeah, he's kind of like the overly expensive Forrest Whitley. <clears throat> like it, it, it's true because like it. I can't sense, say he, that, but like because he has proven that he could pitch. But then you're yeah. also made of glass. You know what I'm saying? Like if you would have fucking lived up to the contract, it would have been fine. But you couldn't. And I think, like you said, that's not a Dana Brown contract. That was a a click contract and. A Luno contract type of thing. So it's one of those things where it's like I don't really care if you come back because you're not mine. Like I didn't do it. Like, but I hope you can because he he kind of went over it whenever he was asked on 790. Also, it was like, oh, Garcia's doing amazing. Oh, and Lance is is also. Like, this yeah. motherfucker remembers how fast Luis was pitching. Like he could tell you everything Luis did. He could say shit about Lance, and it make me feel good about Lance anymore. Than I already did, so that's why I just like I don't give a shit about you, bro. If you come back, I don't even want you to start. That's just fucking a bullpen to me, if anything. Fuck that guy. Like one inning, maybe. Yeah, yeah. One out. No, that's all you, have to play, you have to face three inning. batters. So that's the rule. No, I mean I don't have faith that he'll get three outs. It'll anyway. be one of those dudes where like. To be honest with you, if Verlander pitches bad like that, you already have him warming up. But like, look, we're just go take Verlander's spot and hope that between the two of them, you could get five or six. So he's kind of like the Hunter Brown of last year. No, because we actually were relying on Hunter a little bit last year. And that stupid son of a bitch started pitching good too. Like, he had four good outings in a row six in total like he had four quality starts i was like hold on bro keep doing that like you don't have to be a superstar but do that and it helps us like i'm not taking hunter out for lance i mean Renell blanco spencer Arigetti. spencer spaghetti hunter and fromber so you got four and then verlander if you trusted him and then I don't know what's going on with JP France. I mean, we still haven't heard much from him. Uh, don't know. Uh, Forrest Whitley. Don't I'm say, what about Forrest Whitley? I did hear some stuff, and I scrolled right past it because uh, – That's what you do with Forrest Whitley. It, it was talking about how they don't even know when he's going to be back in AAA. So I was like, well, this has nothing to do with me because I don't care about the Space Cowboys. But... Luis can come back. And there's your sixth starter, which gives them an extra day off for him and Verlander. I like that. How, how did you guys feel about the Trevor Bauer news? I, I feel mean, different about it. I told you yesterday because, like, on the surface, it looks like stupid. Like, it's fucking stupid, right? Like, why would you? But then you think about it, it's like, hold on, hold on. Like, they were accusations. And that shit's over with. And two, you were a Cy Young winner. So I am, I do kind of want to know what you could do for us. 
I just don't want to commit to him. I know he signed some fucking contract with Mexico stating that he wouldn't attempt to leave their team for all of 2024. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I'd lie to them. I was about to say, they'll just give them money. Probably. Now, I did read today within the rumors somebody said that several people confirmed that Trevor Bauer is not going to happen and never was going to happen. Oh, I never thought it was. He started that bullshit. (laughs) He started it by posting that picture or the video of grabbing the Astros head. Which is very interesting because there was confirmation that they watched him pitch also. So you know that they're in the hunt for a pitcher. True. That's exactly what that means. And it would be irresponsible to not watch him pitch if he was pitching. Yeah. Now, since we don't want Trevor Bauer, now trade season starts to come up and it starts to heat up a bit because... See, this is the this is the I know what you're about to ask. Like, who do we want? But it's what what are you willing to give up? And I don't mean like the bullshit Yonder conversation. Like, if you could fucking talk a team into Saint like St. Louis to give you Sonny Gray for Verlander, so they'll take that contract for the rest of this year, but we take his whole contract. He's 35, and I think he's about to get paid for like the next three. But I'll take Sonny Gray because I feel like that's like he's a difference maker for us. Sonny. It's like what the Montgomery dude did for the Rangers last year when they got him from St. Louis. It's like, you're not going to fucking set the world on fire, but you calm shit down. Like, you're almost a for sure win. It's it's very interesting. Kyle Tucker's out on I.O. Not too long. Yanir Diaz is not being put on I.O. with mm-hmm. his hand injury, but they did bring up Cesar Salvador, so... We'll see what that, how that goes. So then your next trade piece is a Jake Myers. Oh, after hearing Dana Brown, they're not getting rid of Yonner. Like, you, yeah. you can forget about that. Yeah, so your biggest trade piece is Jake Myers, one of the hottest players. Somebody's going to take a whiff on him. Um, more than likely, you'd want to trade him to a National League team. I know the Phillies were a team that they said – when it comes to getting the best value out of a trade, I don't give a fuck about that. I'll trade your ass to somebody I'll play 50 more times because there's a really good chance you're going to run into a wall somewhere and you'll mean absolutely nothing to that team. That is very true. I mean, we got some players. We got UC Kikuchi. What'd you call me? From Toronto Blue Jays. <laughs> Uh, the Blue Jays are probably going to be sellers. I mean, I think the Cardinals are going to be sellers, and they got all that pitching over there. Sonny Gray, Lance Lynn. Like, I got some dudes over there. That's why I, I, I've been keeping my eye on them. I was like, I hope y'all stay bad. Keep sucking. I mean, there's a, there's a lot. I mean, what did the Texas Rangers do? Because they – or in purgatory, they have the World Series Blues. Yep. You uh, go try to get Scherzer for the rest of the year? If you can't go get Lance Lynn or Sonny Gray from the Cardinals, Kyle Gibson. I wonder what they would want for Scherzer. Look, I'll give them a m- amazing first baseman in John Singleton. Because the thing about it is, is they're – like, if they trade us Max Scherzer, they're doing it under the assumption they're probably not going to make the playoffs. But they also know that they can't ask for the fucking everything because we'll only have them for the rest of the year. True. I wonder if they'll take Presley. Ooh. Because... Oh, God, I would love to get rid of that fool. We do need to trade Presley because he is... Stressly right now, and the dude is. But I don't blame him for yesterday, bro. I really don't. He should have never been in that fucking game. I don't blame him either. But when you are in the game, I have zero faith in you. And also, Ooh, I'm, paying- I'm about eighty twenty with him. Like I could tell you within three pitches with how this day's about to go with Presley. I need to trade him. Not with you. I want to. I will trade you. I don't want to trade him. I want to trade him. 
I would trade it. Him. Bye. I, I don't. I don't need two closers. I need no. pitching. Who needs a closer? There's I'm a lot. I mean, somebody there, might want a center fielder and a closer. Like. Would y'all take a risk on like a, a bad player, like a player that's doing bad but has done good, like a Montgomery? I would at pitcher because because you're not broke, bro. You just fucked us up last year. You know what I'm saying? Like I know how good you are. I'd take the risk. Six point eighty ERA right now for Arizona. But well, what's his what's his whip? Uh, I don't know his whip right now. It didn't show me. It doesn't show, babe. I mean, a 6.8 ERA, that's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> it fits right in. I mean, but know. if you think about it, if we get you on, a, on the cheap, then then there's nowhere else to go but up. I mean, like a Blake Snell, Jordan Montgomery, they have player options next year, so I don't really want you to have the control of that. Also. I don't want to trade for Blake Snell's fucking contract. That's the, that's the thing also, like... What about like Colorado's Austin Gomber? Oh, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with him. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's only three million. Robbie Ray from San Francisco. Fuck no, we fuck Robbie Ray up. I want to play against you, boy. <laughs> Jordan owns Robbie Ray. If Robbie Ray came to the fucking Astros, then he would just he would just get a seat right next to Jordan's locker. Jesus, so you got to wait with your parent. Frankie Montez in Cincinnati. I to see, I don't hate that one. You know, but, I don't, but also, like, you got to think about it. You're adding a back-end starter, not a front-end starter. True. So, like, we can't sit here and say we got to make the trade because we don't have an ace, but then we go after a fucking a B-minus pitcher. You know what I mean? I mean, like, Sonny Gray would be a top option, but 25 mil in 2025, 35 mil in 2026, 30 mil club option, 5 mil buyout. I know, buyout. I like Sonny Gray. I mean... 3.21 ERA, so, I mean, you're getting your ace. It, I will say this, though. I'm not a Framber Valdez fan, and if you're not a fan of him, you could use a Sonny Gray as that is your ace and then somebody behind him. I would feel, to me, I never gave a fuck about that when I thought Verlander was going to do good. Yeah. Right? And I feel like Sonny Gray would do good enough to where that conversation won't be had. And more likely than not, though, Fromber will get the nod as the ace because he's a bitch and he needs it. Lance Lynn's contract's amazing, though. 10 mil in 2024, 11 mil club option next year? Yes. Three but, again, like, but again, it's like, I don't think a player like that moves the needle enough. Yeah. Jesus Lizardo. From the Marlins, that's the motherfucker I have my eye on. I want that left hand in our in our rotation. I kinda like that dude. He's cheap. Cheap. So they're trying to restock their farm system. Luis Severino? Man, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. If if he comes to the Astros, then he got to get a chair next to uh to Altuve's locker. Sit with your parent, bro. Just go over there. Well, we know batting practice would be good. I don't know, Dana. It could be he could just be waiting on Luis Garcia because that'll be like get making a trade. Would y'all be mad if they made a trade and then traded Verlander? Like, I feel like Verlander, as much as I want that contract out, they're not going to trade just because of how much he brings to the table from a leadership standpoint. Does he? I, I always wondered that. I always wondered that. Like, I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm questioning it in general because I always be like, what the fuck do you do, bro? I don't think he does, but the players are were adamant when he got came back that they was like a big thing. I mean, literally, who the hell do they care about when Maldi's gone and we've been wanting him back? True. But I don't believe him to be a leader. Like, I don't see it. Like, even when people are, de- like, to me, he just seems like too much of an asshole. 
Father Ty, that's what they find in a leader. I don't know. Sometimes we need assholes as leaders. I agree with that, but not like an asshole like in... Like, you're thinking an asshole in the, in the thought process of, like, he looks at some of those guys like, there's no need of me talking to you because what I do is not going to help you. It's like Aaron Rodgers almost, where he's too good to help somebody because nobody can do what the fuck he can do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because we wanted him to mentor Hunter Brown, but it was like, no, I ain't got it. Yeah, it's like, you can't. Like I mean, I'm sure there's it. things he could teach him, but as far as, like, getting your shit together, bro, like, I don't see you rah rah the team up. Like, I don't see you doing any of that shit. Yeah. Look, Jake Myers, you my boy. You're bald. But if they trade my you, question to you is, can we do a 10-day contract in baseball like they do in the NBA? If probably. you can, then you, then you get Bauer. Pretty sure there's somewhere, something you can do. I don't, I don't believe there to be a lot of backlash behind that signing either if we did it. I remember y'all that year we got Ozuna. I mean, nothing could be as bad as that. But he didn't fuck up. He fucked up while he was here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and Bauer didn't beat the bitch. He was just too freaky. What's the difference? He's also a piece of shit that talks shit about us. So it would be funny. That's okay. That's okay. Full circle. Say, like, welcome. Look, like, I don't know. Dana, I don't get paid for the, this um, at all. You do. You got a lot of stuff to handle because we got a lot of injuries. Kind of like 2016 Astros, but not as bad. Uh, the injuries are kind of annoying. Kyle Tucker, he says, shins healing up. Diaz supposedly could have played today if we needed him to. I ain't even hating on him for taking the day off. He took that ball right off the fucking hand. Yeah. That shit was bad. Fuck that. Fuck that. Well, look. I'm going to make a poll. Who are we trading? That's what we're going to be my poll for you two. I'll put four players and let y'all decide who should be traded and all that. I know y'all are going to be mad at my picks, but it's fine because y'all are going to say some dumb stuff like, let's give Lance McCullers, Rafael Montero, and Forrest Whitley to a team for like. So, and, yeah, they're going to say that, do that shit, and be like, hey, we're going to get like fucking uh, Otani. It's like, yeah. no, we're not. No, we're not. Fuck there's, some, there's some dumb stuff that I see all the time. Why can't we just get rid of a Brayu and Lance and Raphael? And I was like, oh, yeah, get all your bad contracts and give it to who? Colorado? That's the only team I could see that would be like. I wish baseball did have some of the rules like basketball, though. Like, you remember when the NBA had the amnesty rule for the, like, so you, like, every five years you could just dump a contract off the salary cap, but you still had to honor it? Like, we would dump Lance right now. That would be great. That's they actually would free up twenty fucking million dollars. Fuck you, James Clifford. Contract. There would be nothing in the world to piss us off more than if we had an amnesty thing to use in baseball and they didn't use it on Lance. That Imagine if be... they used it on like a Bra- uh, yeah, Jose Abreu or something. I'd be pissed. Even if it was Montero, I'd be pissed. It's like the only place. That's why when people talk about bad contracts, I'm like, bro, I'm an Astros fan. I have Lance McCullers on this damn team. He's still, this motherfucker still does HEB commercial. They talk about him on the freaking, oh, look at his coffee company. I don't care about none of that shit. Pitch a damn game first, bro. Yeah. I don't even want to go to HEB because you're on these damn commercials. Like, I'm still going to go because of Zero Sugar. I was going to say, that's taking it a little bit too far. But, dude, bro, I'm so tired of seeing him. Like, you have the energy. I'm telling you, the day he said, if, if it's God's choice for me to never pitch again, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I bet you are. You're getting paid to sit at home and do HEB commercials. I think they need to go. To, he needs to go to HEB and work. Like, I want to walk in there and see you fucking stacking bananas, bitch. Like, hey. <laughs> Give me that milk, the one way in the back. Mm. <laughs> He's going to be a bit of a passing hot dog. Though. Yeah. Make your money up here, bro. Wild. Yeah, a minute, handing out uh, just single cowboy cookies. <laughs> huh. Here. 
Yeah. Make him go work at the pluckers yeah. in a minute, mate. Yeah, he'd, he'd get hurt there. Shaking some oh, yeah. wings up, tossing wings. Yeah. Uh, I need Tommy John on my elbow because when I went to the flip the fucking shit, it hurt. <laughs> He's going to call me one day on that shit and be like, I don't care. I got carpal tunnel syndrome. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, Lance, screw you. We don't really care about you. That's Maybe true. Heal up, bro. We wish you the best. Forrest Whitley, I don't really care anymore. I, I vouched for you day one, and you screwed me over. You got so, the Blanco one right there. That I did. That I did. Keep it up, Blanco. Spencer Arigetti, you're doing amazing. Jake Spencer Myers, Spaghetti. Do good until we trade you. Um, other than that, I don't know. Keep it up, guys. Get healthy. Houston, stay hydrated. It's hot as shit. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully the Astros get hydrated. Keep going off. But other than that, we Audi 3, 5,000. 5,000. Audi 5,000. Lady Houston. How much I'm working for this? I swear my dreams are too important.